Back out in the Pacific, Dick and Gina settled into the routine of the flight. Now that they were on their way, their major concern was weather. The Voyager was heavily loaded with fuel and would be for two or three days. Any turbulence they encountered at this point could break the airplane. The wingtips were another psychological factor they had to come to terms with. No matter how strongly Bert may say there was no problem, they looked bad and the airplane wasn't designed that way. We had gotten, as we flew out over the ocean, a data point performance-wise that told me that the wingtip damage was not critical. The airplane had performance still, so performance was not the, the issue. I would think uh, the crew fatigue concern was the major thing. Uh, and also structurally, if they got some turbulence and during the first day while it was very heavy, it could break the airplane. I had already seen it uh, just before we got to the coast go through some very light turbulence with the wings bent much more than I'd ever seen them bent. So our concern was would they even be able to make a radio call that could be heard if the airplane broke and, and, and understood, you know. Uh, so our concern was let's, we've got to keep communication as continuous as possible. <laughs> 